let us now discuss the accounting entries. Redemption from proceeds of fresh issue of shares. The entries are fairly simple. We pass entries for issue of fresh shares. This has already been covered in an earlier video. What are the entry on issue of fresh shares? Money comes in, so bank account is debited and it has come in on account of share capital which may be either equity share capital or preference share capital. Therefore, share capital is credited. So, bank account debit to share capital for issue of shares at par. If shares are issued for a premium, then there is profit for the company. Bank account debit, let us say a 100 uh, rupee share is being issued for 110. Money comes in 110. Therefore, bank account is debited for 110. However, share capital is credited with only the face value, which is 100, to securities premium is the remaining 10. Securities premium is a reserve, it is a capital reserve and it has, can be used only for four specific purposes. I repeat, the purposes for which a securities premium account can be used are for the issue of fully paid bonus shares, for writing off of preliminary expenses, to write off the discount loss or any other expense on issue of shares or debentures and for writing off the premium, only the premium on redemption of preference shares or debentures. If shares are issued for a discount, the entry would be, that means a 100 rupee share is being issued for 90 rupees. This is a loss for the company. The money received in the bank is only 90. So bank account debit with the amount received, discount account debit with the amount of discount and loss. Then to share capital. Share capital is always credited with the face value. The proceeds of a fresh issue should be equal to the nominal value of the preference shares so redeemed. The proceeds, now there is a small, uh, there could be a small doubt with respect to proceeds of fresh issue. When it is at par, the issue price and the face value are both the same. It is 10 and 100 and 100. There is no confusion with what a proceeds of fresh issue mean. But when shares are issued at a premium, the issue price is 110, the face value is only 100. In that case, what would we mean by the proceeds of a fresh issue? Is it 100 or is it 110? It is actually only the face value of 100 because the securities premium cannot be used for redemption. Similarly, when shares are issued at a discount, is it 90 or is it 100? Is it the amount actually received or is it the face value that we consider as the proceeds of fresh issue? In this case, we consider 90 because we are conservative. This entire thing I will discuss again in detail. But in short, proceeds of fresh issue is either the face value or the issue price, whichever is lower. We shall discuss this in detail. But what are the accounting entries? First, we pass accounting entry for fresh issue of capital. Fresh issue of capital, fresh issue of equity shares or fresh issue of preference shares may be at par, premium or discount. Once that is over, we pass the entries for redemption. What are the entries for redemption? For the redemption amount which is due, preference share capital account is debited because that is being cancelled. Since it's being redeemed, 
rate paid, preference share capital being cancelled, preference share capital account debit, let's say 100. Suppose there is a premium of 10 rupees or 10%, premium on redemption of preference shares would be 10 and to preference shareholders would be 110. This is for the redemption amount due. The credit in the preference shareholders account represents the liability that the company owes to its preference shareholders. When payment is made, preference shareholders account debit to bank. If there is a premium on redemption, this is a capital loss, it should be written off. It cannot be carried in the books. It should be written off. It should be set off. It should be credited. And this credit is by debiting either the prof profit and loss account or the securities premium account. The premium on redemption of preference shares is set off against securities premium if any. If not, we take it to the profit and loss account. So the accounting entries for redemption from proceeds of a fresh issue is fairly simple. First, we pass entries for fresh issue of capital, which is bank account debit to share capital. If it is at a premium, we say bank account debit to share capital to securities premium. If it is at a discount, we say bank account debit, discount account debit with the amount of discount to share capital. Having passed this entry, we then move on to pass the entry for redemption. What is a redemption entry? Preference share capital account debit since we are cancelling the capital to preference shareholders. However, preference shareholders may be given a premium, a premium on redemption. So the entry would be preference share capital account debit with the face value, premium on redemption of preference shares debit with the premium on redemption to preference shareholders with the total amount. Pay them off preference shareholders account debit to bank. And don't forget to set off the securities to, to set off the premium on redemption against the securities premium or the profit and loss account if, if the preference shares were redeemed at a premium. So let us take this example. XYZ Limited had 10,007% redeemable preference shares of 100 each fully paid up. The company decided to redeem these preference shares at par by the issue of sufficient number of equity shares of rupees 10 each fully paid up at par past journal entries in the books of the company. So what do we have? We have 10,007% redeemable shares of rupees 100 each. So we are talking of 10 lakhs of redeemable preference shares. And what does the company do? The company is redeeming these preference shares by issuing equity shares of 10 each. Sufficient number of equity shares. So what is the face value? of preference shares to be redeemed, 10 lakhs. What is the proceed of fresh issue of one share? Proceeds of one share value is 100, uh, sorry, is 10. The value of one share is 10. Therefore, we are talking about 1 lakh equity shares. 1 lakh equity shares. What is the entry for a fresh issue of 1 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each? So, the first entry, bank account debit to equity share capital 10 lakhs. <clears throat> this is for fresh issue. Next, we pass entry for redemption. 7% preference share capital account debit. We are talking about 10,000 preference shares. 10,000 preference shares of rupees 100 each. 7% preference share capital debit 10 lakh to preference shareholders 10 lakh. Preference shareholders account debit to bank 10 lakhs. Here, what we did was the face value of preference shares to be redeemed is 10 lakh divided by what was the proceeds of fresh issue? Proceeds in order to find out the number of fresh new shares to be issued, 
we divide the face value of preference shares to be redeemed by the proceeds of fresh issue of a single share. Here it was at par. Therefore, the issue price was 10. Face value also 10. But when the issue price and face value are different, then we need to decide what is the proceed of a fresh issue. Is it 9? Is it 10? Is it 11? Is it at the premium price? Is it at par? Is it at the discounted price? Let us discuss that in greater detail.